Hey, what's going on gang? Welcome to your 37th Vue.js tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to register things such as directives and filters locally rather than globally. Okay then, so over the last few tutorials we've been making things like custom filters, custom directives and we've been making them here in the main.js file and we've been registering them globally and we've registered them globally by saying view.filter and view.directive to create them. Now, when we register something globally, that means it can be used in any component in our application. So if I wanted to use it in the add blog component, I could do. If I wanted to use it in the show blogs component, I could do. Now that's fine, but what if we have filters or directives that we only use in one of the components, such as we do in this case. We don't use any of these in the add blog component, we only use them in the show blogs component. So then it makes no sense to register these globally where they can be used in both components. Okay, so what we can do instead is just register these locally to one specific component, which we're going to do in this tutorial. And we're going to register them to this show blogs component right here. Okay, so we're currently using this to uppercase filter and this snippet filter right here. So I want to register those filters first of all locally. So how do we do that? Well, dead simply. We just do a comma after our latest property in here and we can say filters and then this is an object and inside this object we're going to store whichever filters we want to register locally. Okay, so I can say something like this to hyphen uppercase. Okay, this is the name of the first filter and this is a function which takes in a value and inside this function all we need to do is take what we wrote here and paste it inside the function here instead. So this is exactly the same. We've got a filter called to uppercase, which is a function, takes in the value and returns an updated value. It's doing exactly the same thing as this where we registered it globally. So now we can get rid of this and we can still use it inside this show blocks component because we registered it locally right here, okay? And we're using it up here. So let's make sure it works. We'll save it and view in a browser and it still works. And I'll refresh just to make sure, yep, still works, cool. All right then, so I wanna show you one little thing. Now, right here, I've used a string to define this filter. Now that's cool, but a lot of people don't do this. What you can do instead is take away the string, but when we take away the string, we can't use these hyphens. Instead, we have to delete the hyphen, okay? But when we do that, the next letter, we must make uppercase, okay? That's not just a pun because this is uppercase. I mean, we have to make this first letter a capital. All right. Now, when we do that, we also don't need this function here. We can just take that away and the colon and instead of replace this by just parenthesis like so. OK, and that is exactly the same, but it looks a little neater now. So this is all going to work the same. Never save it. We'll see that view it in a browser. No, it's not working. Let's refresh and inspect the element just to see what's going on. And stupid me, it's because we didn't add the value into the filter. So now it should work. OK, if I refresh, we won't get any errors. OK, cool. So now that works. Let's register the directive. So underneath and by the way, if I wanted to register more filters, I just comma delimitate them like so. OK, so let's go on to directives. So after filters, we'll place a comma and we'll say directives. And again, this is an object where we can register our different directives for this component. Now, the one I want to do is called Rainbow. We did this a few tutorials back right there. It's called Rainbow. So again, what I'm going to do is call this one a Rainbow. Now, this is not a function, so we don't need to do the same thing that we did right here. What we can do instead is just put a colon and then this is an object. And inside here we have the bind and inside that we have L binding and virtual node. So this is a function now. And then all we need to do is copy and paste this stuff right here. So essentially what I've done is just grab that and paste it over here. So I can delete this again and paste it like so. So we have the bind function, which is kicking off, then exactly the same in there. So now this is registered locally as well. So I can save that, delete it from the main.js file and view it in a browser. And this is still going to work. However, we've not attached that rainbow directive to anything. So 
let's come to the title and attach it again over here. So I'll say H2, V hyphen, rainbow, and this should still work. Yep, works fine, okay? So that is how we register things locally rather than globally.